Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, it's Jen and Alice again, and uh, today we're going to look at the mobility of the pelvis and the lumbar spine um, in supine and using the magic circle. So Alice is going to bring her legs up into tabletop. So during this exercise, she has to keep equal pressure into the, the handles of the magic circle. And she's thinking of her pelvis as a lazy Susan. So on the exhale, let's have right hip shrug up to the right armpit. And she's gonna keep it really, really small and then come back to center. That was excellent. Go in the other direction. And I don't wanna see the pelvic halves rotating or rolling up off the floor. Both should stay anchored onto the floor. Good. Nice. That, the hip that's hiking to the armpit will often want to come up off the floor, so you have to be careful not to let it roll up. Beautiful. Let's do one more on each side. Looks really good, especially on this side. Yep. So you tugged it like a little bit too far. Yeah. Great. And back to center and rest for a second. All right, so the next one we'll do is the sort of mermaid tail with the magic circle. So the legs go back up again. This is really hard to lose the pressure on the magic circle. So whatever leg is on top, you wanna really emphasize pressing into the magic circle. So the head, shoulders stay the same. The front ribs stay soft. And on the exhale, we're gonna reach away from the, ca the camera. So you're gonna think about going up and over a barrel here on your left side. So she's losing one side of the pelvis, she keeps the shoulder down. And then on the exhale, using the deep abdominals to come all the way back to center to where the knees are over the hips. And so you can make it easier for yourself bringing the knees into the chest a bit more, but if you wanna make it a little bit more advanced, you gotta keep the knees over over the hips and go towards the camera. Good. And this top side, you want to keep lengthening the sits bone into the distance. That looks beautiful, Alice. And then slowly coming back to center. And one more on each side. So you're going up and over. And I'm checking that the side waist stays pretty um, even. Yep, that looks great. And then back to center. And up and over. And she's remembering to press into that top leg. Great and then gently, gently back to center and rest for a moment. Good, so such a nice way to use the magic circle to kind of block the legs and give the legs a boundary and then ask for that pelvic movement both in the coronal plane, that hip shrug plane, and then the transverse plane. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.